myself Mars Sewell Engineers. I am Engineer Masroor and you are watching Engineering Network YouTube channel. Welcome to class number 7 of Surveying and Leveling course. So in this video lecture, I am going to solve a numerical question using line of collimation method. Also it is called height of instrument method as well. So in this video, I am going to show you that how to calculate reduced level of different stations in board survey with the help of line of coordination method or height of instrument method. Okay? So please watch this video completely. And if you want to become a successful surveyor, then please follow surveying and leveling course on my YouTube channel. Before that, if you find this video informative, then please like this video, share it with your friends, and if you are new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button. And also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos. So let's start. Okay, so the question states that a road survey was carried out with the help of dumpy level and following readings were taken. The instrument is shifted at 4 and 7 readings and the reduced level of benchmark is 170.534 meter. Calculate the reduced level at different stations and perform usual checks. Also calculate the difference between reduced level at last station point and reduced level at first station point. So this is a simple numerical question. And now in order to solve this numerical question, first let me draw line of collimation table. Here in this table, first column will be the station. Second column is back side, third column is enter side, fourth column is fore side, fifth column is height of instrument or HI, sixth column is reduced level, and seventh column is remarks. Okay? So in station column, I will write these numbers, right? Now actually these numbers are the station points, which means that in this road survey, I have taken 8 station points. Okay? Now remember that the first reading will always be considered as the back side and last reading will always be considered as the fore side. So here the first reading is 0 0.701 which is the back side and last reading is the fore side which is 2.348. Okay? And here I will write BN which stands for benchmark. Now in the statement of this numerical question, it is given that the instrument is shifted after 4th and 7th reading, which means that there are some kind of extraction in this road survey line, right? So I will take the 4th reading and 7th reading is the foresight, which is 1.487 and 1.652. And 5th and 8th reading is the back side which is 0 0.984 and 1.342, okay? So let me write the readings of fourth side and back side at their respective stations. Now the remaining readings are the enter side. So let me write all the remaining readings in the enter side column. So this is the data that is given to us in the numerical question. And now I will use line of collimation method or height of instrument method in order to solve this numerical question. So at station 1, reduced level is 170.534, which is actually the benchmark for the instrument. Okay? So here I will write 170.534. Now at station 1, I will find out height of instrument, which is also called HI. Okay? So HI formula is reduced level plus back side. Here reduced level is 170.534 and back side at station 1 is 0 0.701. So height of instrument at station 1 is equal to 170.534 plus 0 0.701 and the height of instrument at station 1 will become 171.235 meter. Okay? Now I will use this HI or height of instrument in order to calculate the reduced level at the remaining station points. 
So expression to reduce level is equal to HI minus enter side expression to which is equal to 171.235 minus 0 0.562 and reduce level expression 2 will become 170.673. Expression 3 reduce level is equal to 171.235 minus 0 0.381. And reduce level at station 3 will become 170.854. At station 4, reduce level is equal to 171.235 minus 1.487. And reduce level at station 4 will become 169.748 meter. Now in the question, it is given that the instrument is shifted at 4 3 day. Okay? which means that at station 4 I will again calculate height of instrument. So HI is equal to reduce level at station 4 which is 169.748 plus bake side at station 4 which is 0 0.984 and height of instrument or HI at station 4 will become 170.732 right? At station 5, reduce level is equal to 170.732 minus 0 0.227 and reduce level at station 5 will become 170.505. And similarly, I will calculate reduce level at the remaining station points. Okay? So let me directly write all the reduce level at the remaining stations. So this is the complete line of collimation or height of instrument table. And if you want to work as a surveyor, then you will get this type of table. And you will be asked to fill it on the side. Okay? Now also it is required that I have to do a verification check in order to verify the results that I have got. Okay? So the check states that sum of back side minus sum of fore side must be equal to reduce level at last station minus reduce level at first station. Here the sum of back side is equal to 3.027 and sum of fore side is equal to 5.487. The reduce level at last station is equal to 168.074. And reduce level at first station is 170.534, right? So 3.027 minus 5.487 must be equal to 168.074 minus 170.534. And after calculations, I have got exactly same result at both sides, which is minus 2.46 which indicates that our result is totally correct, right? So this is all about line of collimation method or height of instrument method. Now if you want to learn about rise and fall method, then kindly check out my surveying and leveling course on my YouTube channel. Also if you have any question then let me know in the comment section. If you find this video informative then please like this video, share it with your friends. And if you are new to my channel then please click on the subscribe button and also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos. See you in the next video.